Good day, Dino friends, and welcome back to another Dino Noob video. I haven't made a Dino Noob video in a while because I was just busy building on the Builder Source channel, you know? But this is not a building video. This is purely a Dino video. The other day, I found out about this toy that is apparently called uh, Demo or Dymo World. It is, I think it's a Chinese or Japanese or some kind of Asian toy. I don't know exactly which country it's from, but it's from uh, somewhere in Asia. And it looks like it was, uh, well, first I saw this basically. Let me go through all the steps. First, I saw this one and I thought it looked like Roblox. For those of you who play Roblox, you might know that there's a Dino hat that looks like this. It's the red version of the typical typical hungry dino hat and sometimes people wear a red shirt and red pants with it so when I first saw this I thought hey it kind of looks like a Roblox toy but then I saw all the other ones and they all kind of look like Jurassic World toys um, so then I watched a video of someone else who was unboxing them and they said yeah it's like fake Jurassic World it's like they they quick they write it like Jurassic with a K so it's like fake so they don't get suit they write it different and as you can see all the characters look a little bit different like here you have one that looks kind of like Alan Grand or but it also kind of looks like Owen Grady but this one looks more like Owen Grady because he has the brown vest right he has the brown vest this one I think looks more like Alan Grand with the shirt but he has a blue raptor so i don't it's kind of like it, they're trying to make it like jurassic world but a little bit different to not get sued uh and also you can they're also kind of small i think I, I thought they were really small but they're about well they're this size you can see here exactly what size they are like half of a phone half of a phone the size so they're pretty small and you can get like a whole box uh, it says here like a toy bulk box for only $15. So that's pretty cheap. And I was like, maybe I should just get all of them. And because I love the, I love, I love the one in the car. I'll have a better look at them in a second. Uh, but then I learned, then I clicked on a video and I found out that I was wrong about everything. I was wrong about ev everything I said so far was a lie. <laughs> look at this. What does that say? Universal City Studios official. Also, it doesn't say Jurassic World. So why did the people in that other video say they said Jurassic World? I think, oh, oh why, why does it keep playing when I switch? Stop. Okay. <laughs> why did they say Jurassic World? I think the people in the unboxing video that I watched, they just looked at this, the letter I and C, and I think they thought that it was a K. But it always looks like that. It always, this is the real Jurassic World logo. And it always looks like that. So they thought that that was like a f uh, why it was fake. But that's not fake at all. That's, it's actually real. So here's the video. The video is actually pretty cool. So you see all the different toys. I don't know why they have, like they all have the same haircut in a different color and all the haircuts have faces on them. I don't know why, but they, they, they all, all of them, their the hair has faces on them. I do not know why. <laughs> oh, little turn out on. <laughs> okay, so you got the one that's in a gyrosphere. With a dino on top, which is funny. But once again, it is so confusing because if it's official Jurassic World, really most Jurassic World fans that I know, when they want a Jurassic World toy, they want it to be like really close to the movies. And obviously this dino is not in a movie. This is like a cute fake version. This one doesn't look like any dinosaur that's in any of the movies. So why would they do that? I don't know. And that's what makes it feel fake again. And when they make a gyrosphere, they don't call it gyrosphere. They call it sphere bus. Like they keep changing the names as if they're trying to not get sued. But they cannot get sued because it's official. Look, it says Universal Studios and Official Jurassic World. So I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, and now you have the Brontosaurus. I guess it's supposed to be, a, well, there's Brachiosaurus. It's not a, a Patosaurus. Okay, let's say Brachiosaurus. Um, it's actually the same size. Oh, you'll see in a second. It's the same size as the human. There we go. It's a little bit bigger than a human. 
And there we've got... I'm gonna call him Billy. I'm gonna call him Billy. He's flying. He's fly What does this thing say, by the way? What does this thing say? No... Sar... Oh, maybe it says dinosaur. No... Sar I cannot read it upside down, like, backwards like this, but... I don't know. I think it says dinosaur, maybe. Dude, okay, so this is the trailer, and then it lets you look at all the different uh, dinos, uh, if or all the different characters. If you want to look at them better, there are unboxing videos on YouTube, so you can just type Dymo Jurassic World Toys on YouTube, and you will find some unboxing videos. When I said before I was wrong about everything, I was also wrong about the price, sadly. I am wrong about the price. This is actually the price for only one. And look at this, they're so tiny, you only get one toy that is this tiny, that is... Well, I cannot point at that. That tiny, it's like half the size of your phone for $15, but for me there's like $10 shipping, so it's it's basically $25 for one. So that's a bit expensive, so I probably will not get one. I don't know, there's some that I really like though. So here we have number one, Growth Recorder. This is the one that has the brown vest, just like Owen Grady. Uh, has a camera, has a pink raptor or some kind of dino. Plants. Um, yeah, I guess he looks a bit like Owen Grady. And then we have this one. And in the unboxing video, they said he looks like Owen Grady. But I think he does have the Owen Grady hands a little bit as if you're trying to say stop or something. But he's also trying to pet the raptor, which looks a little bit like blue. A little bit. It is blue. It is blue in color, but it's not the raptor blue. It looks more... I don't know. Maybe it's more like a T-Rex. A blue T-Rex. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this one Alan Grant, I think. Although, he is... It does say Dinosaur Trainer, which is technically Owen Grady's Dinosaur Trainer. Then the birth of a baby dinosaur. Okay, this one is kind of cute where the where it's just like a baby but a dino outfit. But there is one where it's literally a human and he has a tail and the tail is like human skin, which is really weird. That that one's creepy. I don't like that one. But in this one at least he's wearing just like an outfit, I think. Yeah, he even has a tail that's red, uh, which looks like it's more like part of a onesie than his real tail, right? <laughs> Please, please don't make human dino hybrids. Oh god, there it is. Okay, I don't think you can see it in this video. Luckily, the tail, but the tail looks cursed. If you do want to see it, there are... there. I saw it in an unboxing video, so you're gonna have to look that one up. Uh, I like when he's sleeping. The hair is also sleeping. The hair has a face every time, and the hair is now also sleeping. So it's a guy sleeping in an egg... Uh, and he's waiting to be born as a dinosaur, but he's also a human and I don't know very confused and freaked out As you can kind of see here. He does have spikes on the back uh, You don't see the tail from here, but it's also skin color, which is uh, that's kind of weird, right? I don't know. That's kind of weird to me Jurassic history. I don't know. That doesn't mean anything Okay, so this is once again what makes it feel fake, right? Instead of just calling it uh, uh, the car from Jurassic Park, what is it called? The for Ford something? I forgot what, what they're called, but the, it's, it, they just call it Park Sightseeing Bus. Like, it's not a bus. What? 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 <laughs> okay, but I do love the car. Most of you know that I really love the cars from Jurassic Park. I love these. The, the cruisers, I think they're called. Um, is this, are we going to pretend this is Ellie? I'm not sure. I think it's trying to, supposed to be a girl because of the eyelashes kind of situation. This one also has a cat that is a dino as well. Like it's a cat with also spikes and a dino tail. So it's like a dino cat. That one's kind of funny. But I especially, of course, love the car. <laughs> dino cat. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of my favorites. Then we have Baby Dinosaur Knight. I don't know why it's called Knight. Um, it has like a rain hat. Isn't the guy... You know Dennis Nedry who dies to the Dilophosaurus in the first movie? I think the actor who plays him is called Knight in real life. <laughs> is this a reference? Or I think genuinely this is just because it's from a an Asian country. They just randomly put in some word in Google Translate and it came up with like a weird result. 
I think that's what it is. Why the names are a little bit weird. Uh, someone riding a Triceratops is kind of cool. Like a little exploration hat is even as a little flag. I do kind of like this one. Oh, what did, what, what did that bag say? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't look at it. Oh, the bag just says Demo, just like this. D Demo, I think. Then we have the Jurassic Guide. <laughs> the Pteranodons. It's like he's trying to teach them to fly or something. And there's one under his head. <gasps> or her hat. Wait, this one is the eyelashes again. I don't know. Wait, do they all? Maybe they all have the eyelashes and I didn't see it. Um, or eye eyeliner, whatever that's called. I don't know. I don't know if they're boys or girls. I guess it doesn't matter. But that looks kind of cool. The George Squirt logo on the back of the shirt. Then we have the Brachiosaurus feeder. But he's actually... Hugging it and not feeding it. Look at that. Ah, the Brachiosaurus is... At least I was correct about calling it a Brachiosaurus. The Brachiosaurus is hugging back. Look at that, the adorable Brachiosaurus. Dude, it even has like the little thing around the neck. This one is absolutely adorable. Like the way it's hugging the dino. I absolutely love this one. This is making me consider getting one. Tell me if I should get... Maybe I'll get just one and unbox it just to see which one I would get. But I would probably get one of the... Like the one in the egg. I don't want the one in the egg. Uh, this one's so good though. <gasps> oh, and then we have the dinosaur egg researcher. This one... Maybe this one's my favorite. I cannot choose, guys. This one, so the little lab coat on the ground and then the leaves in the hair and on the back. And then there's a little dino coming out of the egg like, hello, and he or she is researching the dinosaur egg. But one of my favorite parts is that, that he put the glasses in the hair. But if you look at this, the hair has a face, remember? The hair has a face, so now the glasses are worn by the hair. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. The little clipboard as well. Everything about this one is amazing. Then there is a gyrosphere attack. That's not what it says here because the names keep being weird. Spherical tour bus. Dude, we're not even going to call it Gyrosphere. Why? You have permission by Universal Studios, right? It's So why would you call it different? I don't know. But I'm going to call it Gyrosphere Attack because it has like a crack. You cannot see it in this one. I'll show a picture later. There's like a crack in the top. Like it's being attacked by this dino. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I guess that's the belt. Yeah, that's the belt, I guess. So this one's pretty cool. I like that it has like the little foot so you can put it down and it <laughs> won't roll away. <laughs> this one is called Hug a Dinosaur. It's kind of adorable, but it's not my favorite. It's probably one of my least favorites because I don't know. Maybe you should, should, you should move them closer. You should move them closer so they really look like this. This one is hugging it. Um, but yeah. Then we have the pterosaur paraglider, so it has a little stand, so he actually looks like he's floating. He has like a little arm that's keeping him up, like this. I'm just going to call this one Billy. Uh, it does look like it says dinosaur. I think it says dinosaur on the glider. And then there's a little pteranodon again. Uh, pretty cool mid-tier. I'm going to, I'm going to, I feel like making a tier list. <laughs> nah. So these are all the normal ones, and then there's like one super rare bonus one. I think they said it's less than 1% chance. Okay, so let's see. Which one are my favorites? Probably the one that hugs the dino, the Brachiosaurus, the Researcher, uh, maybe this one, and the one in the car. I just love the car. I don't necessarily like the character that much. So those four are probably my favorites. But out of 12, that means I have a smaller chance of getting it than... I'll probably get one that I don't like as much. I don't know if I want to spend $25 on that, on that risk, guys. I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> Let's see. And then here we have... Boom. Look at that. Here is the secret ow-ow. Is that what it's called? Is that... Does that mean something? 
Secret Ow Ow. So this one has like a 1% chance. That one looks really cool. So as you can probably tell, it's a T-Rex at the end of Jurassic Park 1, where it says when dinosaurs ruled the world. I don't know if it says that text. Probably not because it says Jurassic something here. So it probably doesn't actually say when dinosaurs ruled the world or the earth. The earth. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. But I do love this this dino this guy with the dino outfit i just wish he looked happier i understand that the dino looks angry so that's why the face looks angry but i i don't know i, I wish the guy the face was a little different maybe but yeah what are the chance of getting this i think it's at like one in 140 so we're never gonna see this one anyway all right so that's i just wanted to show you guys that weird discovery because i know some of you guys really like jurassic world and there's plenty of channels on youtube that make videos about all the official jurassic world toys and games but i've never heard anyone talking about this one so maybe i just missed it maybe all the popular channels have already talked about it but i didn't see, i didn't hear anything about this so i think they're supposed to be kind of like funko pop u2 style things where you just put them somewhere for show uh but they're so small they're only this big yeah i don't know they're so expensive that's the problem they come with a pretty cool box as well. As you can see, there's a Jurassic World box. Uh, however, pretty much every comment on Amazon says <laughs> the box was damaged. Every time I got I got this toy, but the box was broken. There were holes in the box. So if you want this cool box, I'm sorry, it's probably going to arrive broken. If I am to believe all the all the reviews. But at least the toy, there, I don't think there were any complaints about the toy being broken at least. So yeah, I decided to make this video on this channel because it's just about dinos and not about building at all. On the build a source channel, I do building and also dinosaur building stuff. So building dino park and sometimes just building stuff that doesn't have anything to do with dinos. But I was like, this is like just dinos. So maybe we can put it on the Dino Noob channel. Tell me if you like it and tell me what your favorites are. Or if you want to make a tier list, <laughs> like I definitely love these four the most. The, the, the secret one is pretty cool as well. I think this one might be my, f no, the, well, these two, these two are probably my favorites. Um, if you know any place where you can get them cheaper, let me know, but probably not that cheap because at first I genuinely thought they were even tinier and I thought this was the price for all of them. I was like, oh, that's pretty cheap, <laughs> but I was wrong, sadly. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. <laughs>